Hi guys, this is Shimrandi from Providence Life Design. This video is about a material mother of pearl, right? So when we think about mother and per mother of pearl, we think of things that are like older and dated and mother and per pearl inlaid silver and all of that fancy stuff, right? So in 2019 and just what they're doing right now, okay? Uh, because we are just such a high consuming planet. They are manufacturing, they're farming the mother of pearl now. It's coming out in these sheets and um, they are fabricating it any way that they want to use it, right? So the, the actual product itself is super, super thin. Super thin. See that? Let me show you how thin it is. See that? Super, super thin. But you can buy mother of pearl done as in some kind of like mark, not marquetry, but like an inlay where it's inlaid with like other marbles and things like that. Um, or they could even use it to, you know, make tile. So it looks like it's substantial, right? This is a penny top. Now, the reason I am doing this video is because some customers are assuming, here's a joke. It's kind of like you being, you know, a big girl, right? And if something is not going to be flattering on you and they sell it in your size, it's, it's better for you to consider altering the way that you're going to use it or try, just don't buy it, right? Just because it's made in your size doesn't mean it's for you. So what's happening in design is that they're making something that looks like it could just be regular tile. It could be, hand, it could be handled as if it's regular tile. And it really cannot be. Um, it's beautiful, right? But you can't use it on your shower floor. Don't get fooled. Um, this is affixed onto either like a resin or a, um, not a ceramic. It's being, it's, it's being fused onto either like resin or ceramic to have, you know, thickness. So it's easier for installers to use it. Because when you're using a product that's as thin as this, and someone wants to kind of like, you know, do something really, really creative, then they're just gonna have to consider how they're using their medium for the installation. This has to be backed onto something, okay? You're going to need to kind of do some fabrication before you use this as an installed product because of the thinness of it, all right? Um, but the great thing about Mother of Pearl, let's see if I can give you I don't know how good that's gonna come up and read to see all of the iridescence. You know, this particular product, I know a lot of um, showrooms and um, luxury stone yards and people that sell, um, you know, beautiful building materials, they, they're gonna have this and it can be used in so many different applications. That's what is so wonderful about this. And then when this came in, I was ecstatic. But then I had to look at the construction of it. I was like, this is attached. Is this gonna start floating away in the shower? You know? So this is this is kind of like one of those things in design where somebody sees a picture in a magazine and it is something in a bathroom or a kitchen and it's beautiful ledger stone. That really rough hewn kind of stone. Like, let's get it right. Like, that is staged, okay? That's not realistic, okay? You're not going to want to be cleaning that with your little toothbrush, you know, brushing out the loose, whatever. You're not going to want to be cleaning that. So as beautiful as that stone will look, it's probably not the best thing to install it in a shower. That is going to get yucky between soap scum and mold depending on where part of the world and country you're in it's just, just you know it's just a bad situation so you know whenever you're choosing product that's something to keep in mind where am i applying it where do i want to use it am i going to need to seal it is it okay for the application i want to use it in is it all right for water exposure can it be submerged well what i have to clean it with you gotta think beyond just the design of it. You gotta think about how do I maintain? And that is what will separate a customer. That, that is what will, 
make a customer say think that they want marble when they come into a store to get hard surfaces and then they realize like no let me just take the porcelain because I'm not gonna like how funky my marble is gonna look because it's gonna end up needing a refinishing and a resealing by the time I'm done or when I remember or if I don't put my home on a schedule. You know, there's maintenance to things. These are natural products. People think that because something has a shiny surface that it is non that it's not porous. And that's a lie. Glass is porous. I bet I bet at least 50% 50 of y'all didn't know that glass was porous. Glass is the porous product. So, you know, so is marble. So is granite. That's why these things have to be sealed. Limestone, travertines, you know. That's why I don't think glass tile is the best thing to use inside of a shower area. It's okay as a backsplash, but you don't want to put it, like, inside your shower area. Unless it's, like, a mixed-medium mosaic, okay? So, guys... I'm glad I was able to talk about this because Mother of Pearl is a very beautiful, natural product. And it is something that is farmed. And, you know, let me know if you have any questions. This is Shamandi from Providence Life Design.